Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Casey and today I have a first impressions get ready with me tutorial kind of video going on. Whatever you want to call it. We'll probably go with the get ready with me. Um, yeah, if you are subscribed to my channel and have been following my videos, then you will know that I recently went on an Ulta haul. And in that Ulta haul, I picked up the Too Faced The Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials palette. And it looks like this. On the inside, it looks like this. It has nine eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter. It comes with a little pack of glitter, a little purple, better than sex mascara, a black eyeliner, and then, of course, an eyeshadow primer. Ignore my cat hanging out right here. She's trying to get a light on the wall or something. I don't know. I have already primed foundation and concealed my face. So we are going to use the blush, the bronzer, the highlight, and of course all the eyeshadows. And I love this palette. It smells like chocolate. Probably the chocolate soleil. Regardless, it smells like chocolate. It smells delicious and I want to eat it. Okay, so first off I am going to start out by priming my eyes. And I am going to use this little guy. It is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Plus Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. Looks like this little guy. I've never used this before, so like I said, it's going to be a first impressions. And I am just going to apply it to my eyes and rub it in with my, my finger. So if you don't like that, I'm, I apologize. Okay, so next, um, while I let that kind of hang out, cool down, all that fun stuff, I am going to take this e.l.f. contour bronzer brush, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to take the Chocolate Soleil bronzer that's in here. So, I've never used it before. I just like to smell it like that's... I'm just obsessed with how it smells. So I'm going to use that to apply that bronzer. And it looks like a gorgeous bronzer. And yeah, let's, let's just go for it. I like that it's not super dark, not super dramatic. We are just going to bring it up in here. We're going to go up in here along my hairline. And then of course on the other side of my face under my cheekbones. Showing up a lot better on camera than it is in real life, IRL. I'm gonna go on my jawbones. So as dramatic as it looks on the camera, it doesn't look that dramatic in person. So yeah, um, first impressions, I like the color. It is a little light on, I think, on me specifically, but I do feel like it does give that a nice, Bronzy, I mean it bronzes and that's that's what it's for. It's the chocolate soleil bronzer. Like what are we talking about? It's nice. I like it a lot So next we are going to do blush And it comes with two blushes in this palette There is the justify my love which is pink and there's the orange I will always love you orange peach whatever you want to call it. It's orange <laughs> It's very peachy. Um I think I am going to go in with that peach color, the I Will Always Love You. So I am going to apply this peach I Will Always Love You blush with my Ulta blush brush. And it's just a little mini version of the regular blush brush. And I'm just going to pick some of that up, dust some of that off, and I'm going to go for it. I, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, here we go, here we go. I just had to really dig into it for a second. And now I'm gonna have a ton of it all over my face. But I kinda like it. I mean, the lighter colors, when they're not so pigmented, not so bold, I kinda like them all over my cheeks. So I did go a little bit overboard on my left cheek. So for that color, I mean, I it's not my favorite. I probably won't reach for that specific color a lot. I'll probably use the Justify My Love a lot more. And that's this pink one right here. I am going to go in with that Justify My Love, the pink color, and just kind of brush over it. Okay, this one, you just need the slightest amount in it. I mean, it adds so much color into your face, so 
I'm actually very impressed with the pigment of this pink. So overall, so far so good. So far I'm, I'm liking it. It does give a nice glow to your face. Um, there is a little bit, it, it's not matte, it's, there's a little bit of shimmer in there, but that's okay. So next I am going to go in with the highlight out of this palette and it is the Champagne Truffle. It is a pink champagne color highlight. I'm going to go in with my Coastal Scents little brush. It came in one of my boxy charms. It came with a palette. Um, I'm going to use that for my highlight. Now I'm just going to jump in there and we are just going to go for it. I'm actually loving this highlight. Um, hello. Get out my apples. I am loving this. Like, hello. And we are just going to Go out. Put some on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. We'll redo that later. So for the highlight, I actually really love the color. Um, but I love the highlight and I love the blush. Like the combination of the two just adds so much luminosity to your skin and it looks beautiful. I'm loving it. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. So now we're going to go to the eyes. And like I said, I did use the primer for the, for my eyeballs. And they feel very primed up and ready to go. Um, I am going to take my Morphe M441 brush. It's just a big blending brush. So I am going to take that and the shade Painkiller, which is right here in the palette. It's the lighter of the two browns. And I'm going to take some of that and go in on my crease. So now that I have just that nice little first layer on there, I am going to take the shade Mystic Hour, which is the blue color in here, right here. And I'm going to take my Morphe M443 brush. It's just a smaller version of that M441 brush. It's a blending brush, crease brush, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to take that and pack on some of that Mystic Hour and start applying it into my crease and we'll see what happens. This shade is so pigmented and so gorgeous. I'm actually going to move over to my Basanti eyeshadow 2 brush and it's just like a flat brush. I'm going to pick up that Mystic Hour on there and I'm going to just start packing it on in my outer corner. So at this point, I'm just kind of packing it on all over my lid. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take that big blending brush we used at first, and I'm going to blend the crap out of this. Okay, so now that I'm, that is on, I'm going to go in with my Morphe E10 brush. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush. And I did wet this down, so um, I'm going to take the shade right here it's called irresistible and it's just a gold shimmer color i'm really gonna pack it onto my brush because i'm gonna pack it onto my eyeball so yes do it and i'm gonna go in towards the inner corner for this guy i'm just kind of trying to do an ombre effect with that blue I'm really going to pack it into the inner corner of my eye and then drag it out. I'm going back in with that Vasanti brush and I'm going to um, wet it down this time and pick up that Mystic Hour one more time and I'm going to go back in and pack it in on the outer corner of my eye to try to kind of get a metallic feel for it. So I'm going to go back in with the gold and just kind of still try to do the ombre effect and drag it out into the blue so the blue is not quite so intense coming towards the center of the eye. Now I am going to take 
my Morphe M321 brush, and it's just a, flat, or a very, very dense pencil brush. We are going to take the shade of Frosted Yum. It's just silver glitter wonder, wonderland. Silver gl glitter wonderland. And we are going to take that on the brow bone. And just kind of highlight that up a little bit. And this is definitely more of a blue silver, so it's definitely going to blend into your look a little bit more than just regular plain silver would. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this glitter. You get a little, little thing of glitter called Glitterly, like it's just full of glitter. And I'm going to take that Morphe E10 brush again, and I'm going to just pack it onto the very tip of it. And it is damp, so it is holding on, and I'm going to just have fun with it. I'm going to pack it onto that gold side and then bring it in over the blue. That way it's a much more intense gold, much more intense glitter look, which is what I was going for. So now, under my eye, I am going to go in with Wham Bam, which is the purple color. This, it's going to be this color right here, the Wham Bam. And I'm taking my Sephora smudge brush, and it's just like a little flat topper brush. And I'm going to pick that right up on top, and I'm going to place that right under my waterline. And then as I'm bringing it up, I am just kind of trying to blend it into the blue and have it on the very outer corner and bring up a V on top of the shadow and then on the very bottom. So it ties in the look just a little bit more. And I am just going to smudge that all together. Okay, so now we have all that and Tying this look together kind of reminds me of what I used to do in high school for my eyeshadow because I would take bright green, bright blue, bright orange, and bright yellow and do purple underneath. And I didn't even really blend. I just did one, two, three, four across my eye eyelids. So that was, that was a beautiful time in my life. It's fine. So now I am going to take the Too Faced eyeliner. It's the sketch marker. You're so Too Faced. Mine's just in the shade black. And I am just going to put this on the outer corners of my top lid. I'm not going to do a wing, just the outer corner. And I love this eyeliner. I usually hate liquid eyeliners, but this one is amazing. I'm barely touching my eye and it's just going on so smoothly. So now I'm going to do my waterline because I cannot complete any look without doing my waterline. So I'm going to take my what do you know, Marc Jacobs black eyeliner and apply that to my waterline and halfway up through my tight line. And then I am going to take my NYX jumbo pencil. I have mine in the shade purple velvet and I'm going to apply that right over top of the black eyeliner I just did. So now I'm just going to go back in with my Morphe M321 br brush, pick up more of that frosted yum that we put on our brow line and I'm going to put that on in my inner corner to mix in with that even more glitter. We're gonna just add all the glitter ever. So now we are going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. In this little package, you got a purple mascara. It's a little miniature travel size. This is the only miniature travel size that I've ever seen in my life, like in person and held in my hand. And it is purple. So we are going to apply that to my eyes. So I'm not sure how much I actually love this. Um, it seems like it's not quite as consistent as the, the just regular Better Than Sex mascara is. I think if I would have gone in with a black layer and then purple on top of it, it would have looked a lot better. But I mean, what do you do? Um, it is kind of pulling out my eyelashes, which I don't really like. So I'm not very impressed by that, but I mean, I don't like it because it hurts. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just the formulation or just the one that I got, but um, the actual mascara seems to be a little bit drier than I'm 
remembering that I'm used to. And I don't know if it's because it's purple or what happened there. It just doesn't seem to go on as well. And it doesn't seem to give this same volume. I mean, the brush is the same, but there's just something about this one. I mean, I love the purple mascara, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I probably should have gone in with the black and then gone in on top with the purple, but I did not, so that is my mistake. So now I'm just doing my bottom lashes. So my eye look is now complete. Um, overall, for my first impressions, I do like this palette. Um, I really like this glitter. I like the eyeshadow primer a lot. Um, for the most part, I love the shadows that I used. The Wham Bam doesn't seem to be quite so pigmented, quite as pigmented as I, as I was, as I would like it, but it is very beautiful. So that's overall for the eyes. And then last, we are going to do my lips. If you watched my Ulta haul, then you already know, but Ulta always does a gift with purchase for pretty much everything. And when I was there buying my The Power of Makeup palette, they were doing a gift with purchase for Too Faced peanut but also was doing a gift with purchase with Too Faced where if you bought X amount of or if you spent X amount of money on Too Faced then you got a little gift with purchase and mine was this little bag and it says Too Faced made me do it and it has little kissies all over then on the back it just says Too Faced with more kissies and inside there was a little and then inside there was a little sample size of the Too Faced melted matte lipstick and mine was in the shade it's happening and I mean for this look the shade says it all like it's happening um, I am going to use this bright pink on my lips to just really pop out the colors on this so ah, let's see um, I've never used one of the melted matte lipsticks before so I'm really excited to see how the formula works I did swatch it and I loved it so I'm really hoping it is consistent with my lips so let let's find out So, so far, I'm actually really loving this color. Um, it doesn't seem to be too streaky. I probably will go in with a second layer just to be sure, but it doesn't seem to be streaky or patchy or anything. Okay, so here's what it looks like, and holy shit! Damn, that's pretty, that's pretty pink. That's pretty pink. Alrighty, well, I think this completes my tutorial. I am going to do setting spray because what is a look without some spray setting spray? All right, well, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this little first impressions video. It was a lot of fun and I am really digging this look. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, but I am really liking it and I probably will go out in public with it today. So that's always a good thing. Yeah, if you have not subscribed already, please feel free to do so. That way I can let you know whenever I film a new video, which is pretty often. I usually film a few times a week. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see any more first impressions again. Yeah, I will catch you next time. And thank you so much for, for watching. See ya.